All right, there's more to the story on this vehicle that they thought was charged, had a leak, and I'm called back out here again. I got a little more story on this vehicle. So my cousin was initially, not initially, I was the first one who did the recovery on it, but my cousin Sterling, he was called out here to check it out for leakage too, and he couldn't find anything. And he said, uh, you know, call Tom and uh, have him come out because he can do nitrogen pressure testing. Well, if you're in this business now, he is family, and but even my own kids or brothers, I will knock them when they need to be knocked. They need a little slap. We're too far in a day and age. We're in the 21st century here, dudes. There is absolutely no reason for anybody who services air conditioning not to be using nitrogen. No ifs, ands, or bats about it. I mean, unless you're on some little desert island where there is no nitrogen, there is no argon, you have no access to it and shop air is all you got, well, that's a different story. But we're here in the San Francisco Bay Area, Silicon Valley, dude. You have no reason not to have everything at your disposal, including education. So I've been pulling this thing under a vacuum for quite a while. Right now I have the vacuum off and I'm letting it, I'm letting it go through a vacuum decay right now. And as you can see, it's at, uh, it's stopping solid. 1016 microns and it's not moving basically oh there goes one but basically but vacuum is a very very poor method to look for a leak and that's why you resort to nitrogen uh this came from a dealer to this place i got a little more story on this thing uh they said something caps were missing off of it and they were up on the crowd when it was to towed in there's another thing to the story which i just discovered i was wondering why is this piece of sticker here? I couldn't read it, but actually um, my eyes are not as good as uh, the owners here read it. It says YF on here. When pulling it off and looking up in the sun, I guess you see it a little better. But check this out. This vehicle came here. Well, I put black marker on that, but that says R134. So we have R134 sticker on a YF vehicle, so apparently it's been in an accident before and something's been changed. Somebody used a used part from an earlier vehicle and put it on a car and they put a 134 sticker on a YF vehicle. Luckily it has YF fittings, so I can't get it wrong. And so it is gonna get YF back into it. Then uh, more to the story, or actually another little fun fact. They go, why is there so much dye in it? And I go, what makes you say there's dye in it? Did it leak out? And they go, no, but I seen a really a lot of dye around the fittings. And so there must be a lot of dye in the system. This is a remark being made to me. Uh, and I said, well, there's not that there's a lot of dye in it. It's just that my fittings always have dye on them. So as soon as I put them on any vehicle, there'll be a ring of dye because of the dye that's inside my O-rings where it connects up with. And the dye that I use is very expensive, very good, very concentrated, and it's very bright. And so they correlate that really bright, strong looking dye as to a lot of dye because they're used to seeing shit dye that is super diluted down that you can't see. And um, yeah, and I go, yeah, because the bottles of dye that I want, they're like 200 and some dollars a bottle of dye. And uh, not many shops will spend that much money on dye. And I go, because everybody's cheap and they want the cheap product. Um, so here's another thing I'm going to look. So I'm going to look up and see if I could get the correct uh, charge amount for this year make model vehicle in YF. Not according to this 134 sticker. So there's an issue there. Uh, I'm going to do a nitrogen test on this because there's too many questions open. Why it came from a dealer and got moved over here something about the refrigerant charge you know just questions so i'm going to make sure i do every step every leak check procedure and test this vehicle out thoroughly before i turn it back to the customer because this body shop their customer is my customer and if i make them look bad to their customer it makes me look bad and that's the last thing you ever want to do in your business relationship with another business so dot your t's and cross your i's yeah, that came out backwards. And uh, and just notate and document everything, especially on vehicles like this, where you don't know what kind of mayhem was done on it before you got your fingers on it. 
And since it's your last name, you're the last one who touched it, if anything was done wrong before that causes a failure on your watch, they point the finger at you. So that's where we're going with this one. So let's see what I find out.